Hi friends, welcome to the channel Ram's World of Wisdom. In this video, we are going to see about the experimental demo on determining the finest modulus of fine aggregates. The apparatus required for uh, finding the finest modulus are this is the CU set uh, for uh, determining the finest modulus of uh, fine aggregates. Starting from the top, it is 4.75 mm C. Uh, next is 2.36 mm C and uh, followed by 1.18 uh, mm C followed by 600 micron C and 300 microns 150 microns and finally pan at the bottom. This is the uh, sieve shaker apparatus. This is the uh, timer uh, setup window in the apparatus. Here we will uh, set the time to 10 minutes so that the sieve shaker will be uh, automatically shut down after 10 minutes of uh, shaking. As we all know there are two types of uh, sand available one is the river sand and the other is M sand. These days river sand is not available for uh, construction purpose and we are using only M sand for construction. For laboratory practical purposes alone we can uh, use the river sand. So we are now taking river sand as the sample for testing the fine aggregates in uh, terms of finest modulus test. This is the weighing scale in which we will uh, measure the quantity of sample to be taken. We have taken 1 kg of uh, river sand as the sample for determining the finest modulus. Now we can uh, place the sample in the sieve. So we can see that all uh, 1 kg of sample has been uh, placed in the sieve. Now the sieve set containing the sample has been placed in the apparatus and the time for uh, the experiment has been set to 10 minutes. Now we can uh, click the start button to start the experiment. Now the 10 minutes of uh, sea shaking has been done and now we can uh, dismantle everything and we can take the sample outside. Now we can uh, take the samples that has retained in uh, 4.75 mm sea and we can uh, weigh it now. Now we can see that uh, 30 grams of the sample has uh, retained on uh, 4.75 mm sea. Now we can uh, weigh the sample that has been retained on uh, 2. 36 mm sieve. We can see that uh, 60 grams of uh, sample has been retained on 2.36 mm sieve. Now we can see that uh, 195 grams has been retained on 1.18 uh, mm sieve. Now we can weigh the sample retained on 600 micron sieve. We can see that 230 grams of the sample has been retained on 600 micron sieve. Now we can weigh the sample retained on 300 micron sieve size. We can see that 310 grams of uh, sample has been retained. Now the 150 micron sieve size. We can see that 165 grams has been retained. Finally, the weight of sample retained in uh, the pan is 10 grams. Now, let us see the tabulation related to the experiment. The weight of sample retained in uh, the respective uh, sieve sizes has been noted down. For 4.75 mm sieve, it was 30 grams and it was 60 grams for uh, 2.36 mm sieve, 195 grams for 1.18 mm sieve, 230 grams for 600 micron sieve, 310 grams for 300 micron sieve, 165 grams for 150 micron sieve and finally 10 grams for the pan. Now the percentage weight retained is calculated by dividing the 
weight of sample retained on the respective sieve which is 30 grams by the total weight of sample taken for uh, the experiment which is 1000 grams into 100 which is for uh, percentage so now we can get that uh, 3 percentage for uh, 4.75 mm 6 percentage for 2.36 mm 19.5 percentage for 1.18 mm 23 percentage for 600 micron 31 percentage for 300 microns 16.5 percentage for 150 microns and finally 1 percentage for the pan after calculating the percentage weight retained we should calculate the cumulative percentage of uh, weight retained the cumulative weight percentage retained is calculated by adding the weight percentage retained for the respective uh, sieve size and the weight retained by the previous sieve so if we see that for 2.36 mm sieve the cumulative percentage of weight retained is 9 percentage which is the addition of 6 percentage of the current uh, sieve size and 3 percentage of the previous sieve size so accordingly for the other sieve size also it has been determined after determining the cumulative weight retained we should uh, calculate the percentage of weight passing the percentage of weight passing is calculated by subtracting the cumulative weight retained from the total 100 percentage of the sample so for uh, this 4.75 mfc we get 97 percentage of uh, weight is passing so for the respective uh, c sizes the percentage weight passing has been calculated after all the calculation has been done we should uh, plot a graph which contains the size of the sieve in the x-axis either percentage weight passing or cumulative weight percentage retained in the y-axis so now I am going to select the data for uh, plotting the graph so I am taking the sieve sizes for x-axis and percentage of weight passing for the y-axis so we are going to the insert tab in the insert tab we are taking a line graph so I am selecting one so we can see the graph which has been plotted the particle size distribution of the given uh, fine aggregate sample will be like this